Hello, and welcome back to Stellaris. We are currently looking at the Jaltham system, where last time we made a no doubt controversial decision to help the Dothnok people relocate to this gas giant, which has now been renamed Baldurak. With our, formers and with our former enslavers due to pay us a visit in just under a year, our people are understandably uneasy at the prospect of another species moving so close to Favaria, but our prominent scientist Gari Beeren insists that her actions leading this project set an important new precedent for intergalactic relations and that these gaseous beings pose no threat to Favarian interests, with no technology or means to expand. It remains to be seen how future corporeal encounters might be handled by the state. Alright, so we are going to begin this episode by choosing a new tradition. Um, following in the theme of our expansion into neighboring systems, I think we are going to choose the expansion uh, tech, the expansion tree. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and adopt Council this tradition, which uh, gets us colony development speed of plus 25%, which will help us uh, more quickly develop our first colony and any future colonies. And this will help us continue to expand our influence over our neighbor systems so that we can grow our economy and harvest even more resources from this uh, galaxy. Um, before we unpause, good thing to note is that it is 2214 April. So in about a year, we have um, MSI debt collectors coming to visit us and I don't think they're gonna be happy when we refuse to pay the debt. With that in mind, we have 200 alloys in the bank and I think we will go ahead and buy 250 more. Mm, we'll buy 500 more. And we are going to go ahead, find our fleet, and we're going to reinforce it. Um, most of these ships will hopefully be built by the time the debt collectors come, but we will deal with what we have. Um, and for the time being, we can go ahead and unpause the game. Construction complete. All right, that was our starbase, which just finished construction of a construction gun battery, complete. which we started in the last episode. System survey complete. All right. Already, our scientists are continuing to um, push the uh, borders of our influence ever further into the galaxy. So let's go ahead and let's queue up a couple more um, surveys for our scientists out here and see what uh, the galaxy has to offer. We're going to move our construction ship over to the Sikon system and try and extend our borders at least to Ravanic. Perhaps even out to this cluster of stars over here. All right. This is going to be an important choke point if we can hold this system um, Lythrin. So I think we're going to go ahead and build a star outpost here and then once we get this system surveyed we're going to go ahead and system build survey an outpost complete. here as well. Um, another of our scientists is done with their queued up um, jobs so we are going to bring this scientist actually down mm -hmm and over here to help explore down this way. And it looks like we found another Anomaly habitable found. world. This one is an ocean world, so again, it's gonna be very low habitability for us, but once we unlock terraforming, we might consider um, uh, colonizing this ocean world. Uh, a small docking hatch leading to the interior surface of this asteroid is visible at the rim of a small crater on its surface. The hatch was likely concealed once, but it has since been exposed by micrometeorite impacts. Alright, let's figure out what this docking hatch is. Um, we are also currently in the process Construction of complete. restoring uh, the MSI warship into a new habitat for our species. Um, so that's going to be uh, just a few months away, and that'll be an exciting new milestone for us. Oh, and it looks like... The debt collectors have arrived. Dear Favarian Republic, we are contacting you on behalf of the Minimar Space Industries, uh, Minimar Specialized Industries, regarding an outstanding debt. Being a fledgling spacefaring society, we understand that you may not be in a position to repay the full amount. 
Our aim is to aid you in selecting an appropriate repayment plan, one which will settle any outstanding debts without stifling economic growth. Accordingly, we are happy to offer you a consultation free of charge. It is our ardent wish that this matter can be settled amicably. The audacity on these people, the audacity. We will refuse to pay. We are truly sorry that we are unable to reach an agreement in this matter. Is there any chance that you will be willing to reconsider? According to the terms of contract, if a debtor is unwilling or unable to pay, we are required to seize assets on behalf of our client. Bring it on. Spaceport under attack. All right. So let's go ahead and let's turn our cinematic mode on and let's see this, this battle unfold. So our new fleet is uh, in action for the very first time and it looks like they've got auto cannons on, on their ships. Well, we're gonna make, we're gonna make mincemeat out of them. They never stood a chance. All right. Not today. Once again, we forced the debt collectors to retreat from our home system. It's unlikely we've seen the last of them, but for now, our people and our assets are safe. They will return in 2230, May 24th. All right, that's another five years from now. I don't know if excellent is the word I would use, but at least we have one victory under our belt. Perhaps they will come with even more power, so we need to be careful and cautious about that. Our scientist here needs to continue researching the project that we started so we can get that habitat up and running. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and build a mining station here to get access to some more energy. And actually, let's look at our building situation on Favaria. We currently have unemployment and no housing available, but that's going to be addressed very soon as we build a new industrial district. Um, and I think we'll also queue up a new city district to increase the housing. A large portion of asteroid TBR-619 has been hollowed out to allow for the construction of some kind of shipyard. It has been abandoned and exposed to the vacuum of space for centuries. If anything useful remained, it has been looted by previous explorers. The design of the shipyard is unique, however, and much could potentially be learned from its study. Alright, that is very odd indeed. A shipyard built into an asteroid. Alright, and we have a new uh, faction that's formed called the Free Citizen Forum. Their members work for equality and justice for all denizens of the Empire. Alright, so now we have um, some egalitarian uh, interests in our um, faction. So it looks like the egalitarians make up 20% of our population. So they're the smallest political party we have. Um, and they are, of course upset about our benevolent uh they're upset about not having a benevolent subjugation policy and they're upset that they're not represented by our ruler or even represented on the council um last time we mentioned that when um Desadia, our new colony gets up and running we're going to hire on a new governor and we're going to make sure that this governor represents the interests of um the egalitarian faction so all of these uh, leaders are currently busy um, surveying and commanding fleets. So we're going to actually hire a brand new official and we're gonna look for egalitarian in this list. And I see one and just one. This is actually a commander and not a uh, official. So I'm not sure if we really need to hire another commander into our empire. I really wanted this to be um, an egalitarian official, so maybe we re we wait for the leader rule that the leader pool to refresh in four years, and we can go without a governor for the first four years. Um, the very first thing we're going to do is we're going to build gene clinics. Uh, this is an important first building on any planet because it increases habitability. Oh, maybe we haven't. We're in the process of researching gene clinics, so we will build gene clinics soon enough. Um, but I like because uh, it increases habitability on our world and it, and it increases pop growth speed, which is really important for a new colony because uh, the faster we get pop growth on this uh, colony, the faster we can specialize it to do something uh, more useful for our empire. 
Um, since we don't have gene clinics right away and we need to start building something, uh, I think we can go ahead and build a district that'll give us some jobs and give us some housing because we're going to need some more uh, consumer goods and some more allies are always good as well. So we're just going to start by building a district in the time being. All right. And we found another habitable world. This is a size 18 Gaia world. Let's check this out. I mean, it certainly looks beautiful. I'm sure we would love to colonize this world. So I think we're going to make a priority of pushing out our borders to secure this system. Um, that's going to be a great new, a great new home for our species. Odd that we still haven't found any uh, neighboring uh, empires. Found. Obviously, we were in contact with MSI, but we have no idea where MSI actually is in the galaxy. For all we know, they could be extending their re their influence from afar. Um, so we don't have any means to uh, we don't have any borders that we that we're worried about defending just yet. So for the time being, we're just gonna aggressively expand and get as much territory as we can under our control. Our scanners indicate an unusually high level of symmetry on the surface of Yamathur 3. Let's figure out what that is. It might be related to this uh, archaeological site here where we found that artificial looking planet with odd geometric shapes and perfectly flattened angled surfaces. System survey complete. All right, we're going to go ahead and build some mining station here. Um, and we found rudimentary robots. In surveying the surface of Yamathur 3, the crew of the ISS Yvaldim discovered the ruins of an early space age civilization. Though no living members of the civilization remain, the planet is still inhabited by the rudimentary robots they constructed. These robots will go about their tasks, timelessly repairing crumbling infrastructure of their long dead makers. Any future colonists may be willing, uh, may be able to use this ancient robotic workforce. If nothing else, they certainly prove themselves resilient. Wow, interesting. There are four robotic pops on Yamathur 3. Found. Um, all right. Impressive structures like litter a small area on the surface of Sismac 1, practically begging for some archaeological work. Let's figure out what these interesting structures are. Is Yamathur 3 the Gaia world? So this Gaia world comes with four, um, four robot pops. And it has some rare planetary features, um, which gives us moat harvesting traps, and society research from jobs. Wow, that's great. Um, and it's got rich microflora, which means that we could potentially make this into a agricultural world and maybe like a research world as well. Um, so those interesting structures we found on Sismac 1 are not as old as we first believed. It seems to be a playground or an amusement park of some sort. Science officer uh, Bonnie Baerin Noticed, uh, notes that many of the, contra the contraptions are highly complex creations that we can learn much from and that to the builder's alien's eyes, uh, this might have been a cutting edge sensor array or even a gigantic art installation. Regardless, to us Valdari, it looks mostly like a place where you would take your young and let them amuse themselves. How cool. What a nice find. All right. Let's go ahead and let's build complete. Starbase out here so we can start taking our borders over this way. All right, and we have access to gene clinics now, and I think we are going to go for society research from researchers. That's gonna be great for us. And for physics research, I think it is worth investing in... Survey speed would be pretty good for us right now. Um, yeah, let's go for survey speed. So right now we're doing a whole lot of that. We might not be surveying so much in the later games, so we don't want to push off that technology till too late. We won't get any use from it. Construction complete. Ooh, another trinary system. Oh, he's beautiful. It's a great skybox, too. Alright. Let's go ahead and take control of the Ravonic system. Um, faint traces of weapon radiation indicative of a military spacecraft have been detected on Etrapan C2. All right. Military spacecraft, System huh? Survey Hopefully it's complete. not an outpost of a neighboring empire. 
Construction complete. All right, a group of investigators have found a hidden factory on Desadia. The building in its state of decay tells of an old civilization, one that excelled at constructing things that stood the test of time. Our population would e easily be able to use the facility to add to the colony's production output. All right, so Desadia has an odd factory on it, and that gives us access to um, an odd factory worker job. Ah, here it is. And that produces four alloys for us, compared to a regular metallurgist that produces three and has an upkeep of six emeralds. This is, uh, not emeralds, uh, six minerals. This is just four alloys for free. That's fantastic. What a lucky find. Anomaly found. Speaking of, this colony can get a gene clinic sub going. Ah, we need more minerals. We'll wait to get enough minerals and we'll build those. Let's look at this anomaly up here. A small docking hatch leading to the interior of this asteroid is visible from the rim of a small crater on its surface. Hey, didn't we just see another asteroid with the same deal? If this is another um, a shipyard, that would be interesting. A badly damaged military vessel bearing elaborate alien insignia encircles Etrabon C2. The ship has suffered heavy incendiary attack, which has melted its hull, leaving no survivors aboard. No weapons known to us today can uh, produce the temperatures high enough to cause such an effect. Perhaps the ship's logs may yield, shed some light on its violent end. Yeah, we've got to read those logs. Um, if this is a potential weapon that's out in the galaxy, we don't want to fall prey to it. Situation log updated. Um, so we're going to go ahead and prepen this this job to uh, examine the logs. Okay, we're going to take this ship and we're going to give it an order to repair. And construction um, complete. I think we can go ahead and reinforce as well. Construction in the Rovanic system uh, has been completed. Pirate treasure. This asteroid appears to have been used. Uh, intermittently as a base by a uh, band of alien pirates roughly 1,000 years ago. A small onboarding party, a small boarding party entered the base and managed to recover their abandoned treasure hoard. It consists largely of stolen trinkets and artifacts, but some of it appears to be of value. Well, great. We can sell that and get 513 energy credits. Um, we're going to go ahead and build some research Special stations. Special project complete. Um, in just a second. We restored the flagship. The retrofit of the former MSI warship is complete. We now have at our disposal a vessel, a vessel of massive power and significance. Watch out, galaxy. All right. So the warship in orbit of Favaria has been restored into a flagship. Is it just me or did... I thought we were building it into a habitat. I had no idea we were making it into a flagship. I, I could be mistaken, but I could have sworn in the last episode we were making it into a habitat. Um, hmm. I, I guess what's done is done. Like, we have the warship now, so we can't go back. Um, let's just set into orbit. And... Yeah. Well... That's unfortunate. I was really counting on um, counting on a new habitat in our uh, home system, but oh well. At least now um, we're going to be a lot harder to take on uh, if anyone wants to come and invade. Uh, we're going to go ahead and move this scientist uh, up this way, and we're going to survey these systems and see if there's any connections out here. Or this is our archaeologist, so maybe actually we want to start working and looking into these uh, Gruner ruins. Um, these are some ancient ruins that we found in our first episode um, that indicate there was uh, a huge civilization uh, called the Gruner. And we might want to look into it, see what we can learn from these guys. So I think instead of using this guy to survey, we're going to continue our archaeological Special project work. complete. An analysis of the ship logs reveals that the crew met its demise when trying to retrieve an, irre an uh, uh, irreplicable alien artifact called the Rubicrater. It was stolen from their society by a pack of thieving rats, a curious choice of words as they call themselves our most rat-like in appearance. 
The logs are mainly comprised of curses, uh, willing the rat robbers to end the universe and beyond. The crew has counted upwards of 50 individual words for defecation as well as a wide selection of places from which a star's light cannot escape, but their arduous work has not paid off. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, we have uncovered the last known location of the Rubricator in a previously uncharted system, and if we are to believe its former owners, its powers are definitely worth pursuing. Wow. Color me intrigued. I want to find out what this Rubricator is. Why were they so upset about losing the Rubricator? We must have it. Situation log updated. All right, let's check out the situation log. The Rubricator. The last known location of the Rubricator, an alien artifact of considerable power. Let's track on the map. This must be it. This system here must be the, uh, the Rubricator. So... I have this scientist actually moving down to survey the system. I think we're going to move this scientist to continue surveying this system. And then I actually think we're going to go and see if the Rubicator is in this system after all. Alright, well, I'm paused the game. Hey look, in this uh, neighboring system we have access to a size 15 savanna world, which is pretty good, and a size 12 ocean world. All right, an odd factor. The crew assigned to work at the odd factory in Desadia has disappeared. We could send a new workforce to take their place, or we could raise the facility to the ground, making sure that this will not happen again. Um, no, it suits our needs. If people occasionally get lost, that's okay. We'll make sure that they know the risks when they go to work. Complete. I think it's going to be valuable enough for us. Um, cool. We can move our construction ship into this system. A new strategic resource has been discovered. During its survey of B1R328, the ISS Dedirum discovered deposits of rare crystals. These crystals have properties that make them extremely effective at focusing laser beams, and they are also a critical component in most advanced electronics. In addition, many cultures treasure them as decorations or adornments. It's strange how we know this, and yet we just discovered this resource and we have no idea what it can do. But okay, while we do not yet possess the means to extract this resource, we should seriously consider establishing control over the system for future exploitation. Alright, we found some rare crystals deposits, and... Ah, it's in the Sysmox system. Speaking of the Sysmox system, we may have just met our first neighbors. We have made first contact with the mysterious aliens in the Sysmox system. For now, we have codenamed them the Psy Menace, until we can find out more about them. If they possess a language, we should decipher it, so that we can access how much of a threat they pose. Alright. Let's zoom in here. This definitely looks like a sentient empire's science ship. So... This does not bode well. Our people are definitely nervous. About meeting other um, other alien empire so close to um, so close to our borders Anomaly all right one of our scientists has reached a veteran level um, this scientist is currently exploring so I think we're just gonna go for Survey speed plus 10% and anomaly discovery chance plus 10%. Yes. Weak signal. By chance, we stumbled across a faint alien signal during the survey of this moon. The source appears to be a small object in orbit. The signal contains no message. It could be a distress transponder? Alright, let's figure out if it's a distress transponder. Um, and our Minister of Defense, who is uh, in command of our fleet, also has leveled up and we are going to give him admiral because he is commanding our fleet and we want to give him ship weapon damage plus five fire rate plus five and combat combat disengagement chance plus five that is fantastic for him um great um speaking of economy i don't know what happened but our economy just tanked I was thinking maybe it was we lost our unified purpose, and that's also going to tank our economy. But yeah, we really need to get some more energy credits. We need to get some more minerals too. This is pathetic how little minerals and energy we're getting. Um, I think for the time being, what we're going to do is we're going to sell off all this extra food. We're, we're good on the food front. 
That's gonna give us some more energy. And then I'm also gonna buy in a thousand minerals that we can spend. And we're gonna go ahead and spend those minerals right away. I think it's gonna be important to get um, an energy district on Favaria and an energy district here. As far as getting our mineral economy up and going, we can consider a mining district as well in the future, but I think energy is more critical. Um, and with the rest of those minerals, let's go ahead and build mining stations. System survey build complete. research stations. All right, we finished, uh, we finished surveying Sysmok, so let's go ahead and let's survey around this way. And then we'll go check out these uh, black holes. So with this system survey complete, I think we're going to go ahead and build a star base here. This is going to be a choke point because we just found another alien empire exploring over here and we have no idea how far their influence extends. Mummified pilot. The mummified remains of a single individual belonging to a previously unknown mammalian species have been found drifting in high orbit over Echepan 4A. The being is dressed in what appears to be a flight suit, complete with a helmet, and may have been a fighter pilot that ejected in some ancient battle, only to be forgotten and left behind. Our study of the corpse has provided some interesting data. That's kind of tragic. Um, and we can choose a new research. Um, we can go for edicts fund, we can go for extra food, we can go for influence. I think we're going to finally get the extra influence to help us continue expanding. Strategic resource discovered. During its survey of Echepan 4, the ISS to Arm has considered has discovered a previously unknown strategic resource dubbed Zero. It is an extremely rare, rare aerosol of exotic particles that appears to have been deposited here through a meteor impact, though its true origin is a mystery. If ingested by psionically gifted individuals, this gas uh, this aerosol should act as a very potent drug that enhances psi abilities. While we do not yet possess the means to extract this resource, we should definitely consider um, gaining control over the system for future exploitation. Wow. Psionics. Which system is this in? Where are we exploring? Ah, here. Construction complete. All right. Um, we'll definitely look into uh, gaining control over this system, especially if the rubricators here. We might want to. We might want to look into what this powerful artifact is. All right, things are looking up for us. Um, we've got a few candidates for um, colonization. Speaking of which, let's build a new colony ship. I think we also need to hire a new commander to command uh, the flagship. So let's take the... Let's take an egalitarian person, so we might get some more egalitarian influence on the council. Um, if this person is a counselor, they're going to give a ship's weapons damage plus 2 and sublight speed plus 10. That is fantastic. Yes. 6 unity per month. Okay, I think it's worth it. Um, we're going to give this person... Fleet Organizer and Skirmisher 2. And I think we are good to go. We can continue on. Anomaly found. Corrupt survey data. Something in the Fuwei, uh, Fuawei system is corrupting some of our sensory data. The source of the irregularity seems to be the planet Fuawei 2A. Well, let's see what this irregularity is. That's very vague. Um, okay, so uh, we've built an energy district. We built a city district, so we have access to another building slot if we want it. Um, though I think before we get another building, I'm going to get another mining district here. Um, but we still have four open jobs, so no need to build that right now. In fact, we might consider clearing some blockers instead. Um, yes. Let us do just that. Um, and we're going to need some special technologies to clear the blockers on this planet, but that's okay. Um, an odd factor. No reports of any problems have been issued from the odd factory on Desadia. 
It seems likely that the colony will maintain the production, uh, the projected production estimates. All right. Well, that's good news. Um, why don't we go ahead and build that gene clinic that we wanted to build? The planet that wasn't there. This seems real cool. Huawei 2A is not a planet at all, but a sophisticated 3D projection. At its center of the projector generates an energy field simulating a physical body and gravity well so convincingly that our sensors mistook it for an actual planet, producing the anomalous data. We can only speculate as to why someone would go to the trouble of faking the presence of a planetary body at this location. Sadly, the projector did not survive our experimentation. Strange. Research complete. Well, that was one of the two habitable worlds in this uh, system just gone. Somebody was faking a planet. Yes, extremely weird. We have proven beyond any doubt that the galaxy is filled with life. Apart from the dominant species and nations, there are many others who traverse the stars. From time to time, exceptional individuals may arise to shake the foundations of galactic power. Although their alien maze ways may be strange or even repellent, harnessing the, talent the talents of such renowned leaders may prove to be a boon for our cause. All right. Uh, and we finished survey. research. Complete. So let's go ahead. We can take naval capacity from soldier jobs. That wouldn't be too bad. Or we get food from farmers or we can start clearing the blockers on that planet. I think we're gonna get food from farmers. Um, Anomaly found. Our economy's not in a great place right now. I don't know what happened to cause our energy to drop so suddenly. Uh, optical sensors isolate a cluster of shapes on the barren surface of Huawei 2 that could be buildings. Buildings, huh? Let's check it out. Uh, this construction Locker ship clear. is complete. Psy Menace. Local system defense forces remain in a state of heightened readiness after the recent incursion of the unidentified spacecraft into Sysmok system. Intelligence is still analyzing what little data we have of the bogey, but its appearance is capable of hyperspace travel. Offensive capabilities remain unknown. As this likely represents our first contact with a new alien civilization, we should take steps to decipher the communications. We are taking every precaution to prevent them from finding out any sensitive information. That seems wise. We don't know if they mean us uh, well or if they mean us harm. All right. At the coordinates of the Rubricator's last known location, we have discovered a habitable planet with what we believe may be some form of element covering a large portion of its surface. The settlement consists of large pile-like towers visible all the way from space. Our, our archaeologists are eager to excavate it in search of the Rubricator. We will definitely start digging. What an interesting description for a planet. Let's check this out. Huh. A relic world. Size 24, that's a huge world. Uh, we will definitely want to check this out. I think that's going to be a great, great new home for us. And while we're there, we can look for the Rubricator. Um, let's take our construction ship out this way so we can get access to the Rubricator. Start the archaeology there. I think that can be this archaeologist's next project. Uh, speaking of archaeology, decoded ancient data crystals have been found at the dig site, chronicling the Gruner's military exploits. While most are local and of little interest, several volumes detail the Gruner's first encounter with the alien species referred to as the bowel organism. Little more can be gleaned from the bowel at this point, save that they were a massive plantoid species and had many colonies seated among the stars. Wow, let's find out between this conflict. Uh, about this conflict between the Gruner and the Bowel. System survey complete. All right, we're back in the positive for energy, just barely, but I'll take it. Um, cleared. Yeah, I Research think complete. we're on on the upward right now. Uh, we can upgrade our ships when we get enough alloys. It might be pretty expensive, but now we've got level two armor, which is going to be great. Um, all of these research options look great. Um, especially worker pop resource output, engineering from researchers. Uh, let's go engineering from researchers. 
our colony ship is up and going so let's go ahead and let's fly this colony ship out here so that we can Research be ready to complete. um inhabit this gaia world we've got robots on there we finished researching extra survey speed um so next up let's go ahead and let's research energy credits from technicians well that's very relevant for us right now i think we've got to look into it field modulation what the ISS Yavaldim found on Farway 2 were not buildings, but surprisingly regular mineral outcropping. Science officer Kali Daden asserts that these angular blocks of rock are the product of interaction between tectonic plates. Their shapes the result of the unusual technophysics inherent in the planet's crust. The perfect angularity of these thrust faults implies the possibility of aliens tampering with Farway 2's crust at some point in the past. Most intriguing. Let's study that when we get the chance. Construction right. complete. So we can go ahead and build some anomaly mining stations found. here. We found another anomaly. Preliminary scans of A1GR784 indicate that a heavily armored vessel it was in orbit of the asteroid. It would be pr wise to proceed with caution. All right, heavily armed ve uh, vessel. Yeah, let's... System survey I feel like complete. I'm going to regret choosing to look into it, but... Curiosity... is irresistible, even though it killed the cat. Alright, we'll continue uh, exploring down this way. A size 15 savanna world? We might as well build a, another colony ship as well. Um, and we can build mining stations here. We'll get some more energy and some complete. more minerals, which is going to be good for us considering we're back in the negative with energy again nefri's pride the armed vessel discovered in orbit of a1gr784 is an abandoned military spacecraft thank god it's abandoned called nerfy's pride its light frame and evasion hardware suggests it was built for long distance patrol missions but it has since been retrofitted into a long-range stealth bomber that's cool records of the ship's comms reveals that it was hijacked by a rebel gorilla on a way to perform a strike against a secret complex called the Zavan Labs, said to hold a weapon so powerful it could win them the war since they were shot down. We have extracted the ship's destination from its navigational drive. A powerful weapon that could win a war. Well, we are definitely intrigued, right? We are a militarist country. We want access to a powerful weapon. Let's send a science crew to the lab. Situation log updated. So let's look at the situation log. Um, looks like we have a lot of powerful, possibly potential powerful weapons at our fingertips, right? We heard about this rubricator that the uh, aliens lost and they were really upset about it, calling the, the thieves rats. Uh, we have this van labs. Let's see, where is this? In this system here. Oh, of course, it's in the system with the uh, mining drones, so we can't really we can't really explore that system just yet. Uh, we'll leave this science uh, this construction ship be for the time being. Um, I think if we're gonna expand, no, no, we'll go ahead and build a starbase. System survey complete. Democratic ruler election. Who's favored to win? Our current. Commissary General is going to win yet another re-election. Okay, I don't think we're going to tamper with this election at all. That wouldn't be very constitutional. Alright, we're going to go ahead and explore this system now. And I actually think this is an okay uh, time to end the episode. We've made a lot of progress. Right, we were visited by uh, the Minamar's Specialized Industries coming to collect a debt but we fought them off. Um, soon thereafter, we also repaired their, their former warship and we made it into our own. So that's gonna be huge for the defense of our uh, system. Can I merge these two fleets into one? No, I didn't think so. But anyways, um, we are not to be trifled with, right? Um, speaking of powerful weapons, we also found some intriguing artifacts that we wanna look into. Um, in this system up here, is supposedly some kind of laboratory with a powerful weapon that could win a war. 
And here we have this artifact known as the Rubricator um, that might be worth trying to check out. So a lot of exciting things coming for us in the future. Um, looks like we've made some progress on our archaeological site here with the Gruner. We will read that next time at the start of the next episode. And uh, we'll see where our exploration into all these past civilizations takes us next episode. Thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for the next time.